Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie Channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7, which is all about exploring the compound microscope. This will be the second quarter topic and learning competency number one. This lesson is under the Matatag. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to first is to identify the main parts of the compound microscope and describe their functions. The second one is to demonstrate the proper handling and storing of a compound microscope. And the last one is to appreciate the compound microscope by answering the reflection of learning. In activating the prior knowledge, the learners will identify the parts of the compound Microscope is an optical instrument used to observe the small objects or details that are not visible to the naked eye. It uses lenses to magnify the image of the object being examined, allowing the users to see it in greater details. The following are the parts of a microscope and their functions. The first one is the eyepiece or the ocular lens. The lens at the top of the microscope that you look through, usually with the magnification of 10 times or 15 times, the eyepiece is also called the ocular lens. It is the lens that closes to the user's eye when looking through a microscope. Another part of the microscope under function is the arm, the part of the microscope that connects the base to the head and the eyepiece tube. It is used to carry the microscope. The arm is typically made of a sturdy metal material to ensure the microscope remains stable and to secure during the use and transport. Another part of the microscope is the stage clips. It is the metal clips on the stage that hold the slides in place. Stage clips come in different designs such as spring-loaded clips or scroll-down clips. They provide a stable platform to keep the specimen centered and focus as the users examine it through the microscope. Another part of the microscope and their function is the coarse adjustment knob, a larger knob used for focusing the microscope. It moves the stage or the body tube up and down to bring the specimen into general focus. 
Turning the course adjustment knob moves the objective lens a larger distance, allowing for faster focusing. Another part of the microscope under function is the fine adjustment knob. It is a smaller knob used for fine-tuning the focus of the specimen after using the coarse adjustment knob. It moves the stage slightly to sharpen the image. The fine adjustment knob is essential for getting the most detailed, high-resolution observation of the sample under the microscope. Another part of the microscope under function is the draw tube, the tube that connects the eyepiece to the microscope body. The draw tube is the cylindrical tube that connects the eyepiece or ocular lens to the main body or frame of the microscope. This is an important component that enables the user to optimize the performance and viewing the experiences when using the microscope. Another part of the microscope under function is the revolving nose piece. The part that holds two or more objective lenses and can be rotated to easily change power or magnification. The revolving nose piece is a crucial part of the microscope that gives the user the ability to easily change the magnification levels by simply rotating the nose piece. Another part of the microscope under function is the objective. The lenses closest to the specimen that are typically of varying magnification, for example, 4 times, 10 times, 40 times, and 100 times. The different objective lenses allow the user to view the specimen at different levels of magnification. The objective lenses are the lenses closest to the specimen being observed. Another part of a microscope under function is the stage. It is the flat platform where the slide is placed for observation. The stage is a fundamental part of the microscope that enables the user to properly prepare, position, and focus on the specimen they wish to observe and study. It is a critical component for getting high-quality, detailed images through the microscope. Another part of the microscope under function is the diaphragm or the iris. It is a rotating disc under the stage with different size holes. It is used to vary the intensity and the size of the cone of light that is projected upward into the slide. Another part of the microscope under function is the illuminator. It is a light source located at the base of the microscope. Another part of the microscope under function is the base, the bottom part of the microscope that provides stability and support. It houses the illuminator and other electrical components. The base is the foundation that the rest of the microscope structure is built upon. Its sturdy design helps to keep the microscope steady and prevents it from tipping or moving during the use. The following are the microscope operation and the techniques. The first one is the preparing a wet mount slide. First is placing the specimen. So use a clean microscope slide and then add a small drop of water or mounting medium to the center of the slide. And then carefully place the specimen, example, the plant tissue or chick cells into the drop. Another step in preparing a weight mount slide is adding a cover slip. So gently lower a cover slip at the 45 degree angle into the drop and avoid dropping air bubbles under the cover slip. Another microscope operation and techniques is by adjusting the focus. So first one is by using the coarse and fine adjustment knob. So start with the lowest power objective lens and then use the coarse adjustment knob to quickly bring the specimen into view and then switch to fine adjustment knob to refine and sharpen the focus. 
Another step in adjusting the focus is by achieving optimal sharpness. So observe the specimen and make small incremental turns of the fine adjustment. And then continue adjusting until the image is as clear and detailed as possible. Another microscope operation and techniques is by controlling the illumination. So the first one is adjusting the light source brightness. So use the diaphragm or light intensity to control or to adjust the brightness. And then aim for even consistent illumination across the field of view. Another step in controlling illumination is by using the diaphragm or condenser. So the diaphragm controls the size of the light beam. The condenser lens focuses the light into the specimen and then adjusts this component to optimize the contrast and clarity. In making the generalization, so the student will answer the reflection and learning. So one minute paper using the graphic organizer, they are going to reflect on your learning by creating a one minute paper by answering the following question.